know it's flooded. Market campsite. That's actually the place that I've done an advert for last June. The advert is actually number one on YouTube and Google under uh, if you search up camping in Suffolk or Suffolk campsite. It's called the Orchards. Look it up. It's a good little video actually, and I think I might make little adverts like that for places alike. You know, good quality advert for them. I'm currently at Melton Butchers. They do a really mean sausage roll and something called a bad boy, which is like all sorts of bacon and sausage meat and all sorts of cheese and that and I'm on the bike today I'm now going to meet Ben Bradshaw 180 Felix the Hunter his YouTube name is and uh, we're going camping in Wicker Market and uh, hopefully I'll go for a dip in the river Hello everyone it's the morning of day three I haven't actually had any footage for a while took a good couple of days since uh, since Melton Melton Butchers but yeah, I've been working really hard with my father, doing tree surgery the last couple of days, and a bit of cash type thing. There's 180 Felix Hunter set up in the background there. Uh, I just had a bivy set up, very very warm, a bit too warm in the mornings, but uh, done well through the night. Um, yeah, today I'm off to Halesworth, I'm going to be passing through Framling Castle, well Eastern where I used to live first, in Framling Castle. Um, Brugeard and uh, Saxmundham and I might go over to Oldborough I'm not too sure yet I really don't feel up for a long long ride today but I've been doing about 40-50 miles a day so far this week for well the last two days anyway On uh, I'm still riding my specialised bike probably won't be able to see it from here it's too far away but yeah the wheels are shot on it really need new wheels need new group set then it'll be fine the frame's fine need new forks and uh the bird of prey over there you can't see it but the bird of prey over there on the uh, on the fence post it just caught a mouse or something i wish i had my big nick on camera with my uh 600 millimeter lens oh this is strange suffering a bit of a landslide look bit of a landslide there eh? yeah I'll let you guys know when uh, I'm at Eastern or Framlingham and hopefully tonight I'll have a nice wild camp in the woods where I used to have my setup catch you in a bit fishing with 180 Felix the Hunter down working campsite can't see any fish, but it's good to get out. Yep. Cows. There you go, that's fish territory down there. That's the one. Oh, there's some minnows, there's some minnows. Yeah, I see a tiny little thing. Right, just made it to Fram Castle, halfway there. Nice little castle here in Framlingham in Suffolk. And uh, yeah, I'm just having a little five minute break, a bit of water and that. And uh, then I'm heading the rest of the way to Halesworth. I actually was caught in that massive storm the other day that hit the United Kingdom. Well, for a few days it was, but the first one I was camping at the time and yeah, pretty much the storm come over my woods from a beautiful clear blue sky like today. 
and it just went black like night time like seriously really black dark couldn't even see the trees around me well barely anyway so yeah I uh, actually cycled home in that and uh, back to Felix though from Ipswich way the other side of Ipswich 11-12 miles so uh, yeah I got some GoPro footage on the old one on my head on my hat and I've got loads of lightning and thunder and everything on it so while I'm going the next 10-15 miles you guys at home can watch a bit of that good footage also go through a, a low bridge flood which uh, was nearly up to uh, up to my crossbar <laughs> so uh, yeah I'll catch you in a bit back on the road right it's been about two minutes it's absolutely hammering it down I don't even know if you can hear me man look at this it's flooding already Absolutely hammering it down. Right, I'll catch you in a minute. <coughs> wow, man. Wow, man. away from here as far as I can away I go away I go way baby whoop whoop wow man woohoo Oh no! Woohoo! Everybody loves water! Oh no, it's flooded! Ah! Oh no! It's flooded! Oh no, my feet! Oh no! No fucking way, man! Whoa, baby! Come on! Oh, I missed it! It's behind me! Right guys and girls, it's been a lovely day out. I'm here in Halesworth now, setting off through Walpole, uh, Peace and all Framlingham, and ending up again, once again this evening at Wicker Market. Spend another night with uh, camping with 180 Felix so Hunter. Ben Bradshaw, should look up his channel, he uh, does metal detect and that sort of thing. Bit of uh, magnet fishing as well. Absolutely idyllic setting here, just on the outskirts of Halesworth. Now getting into the countryside, so uh, let's get on the road and see what we find.
beautiful. A few more miles to go. Hey, 500 miles this week. Whoop, whoop, as Ben would say. Right, nearly Framlingham, only a couple of miles away. Then two and a half, well, another couple of miles away from Wickham Market. See you there. So I finally made it back to the orchard campsite in Wicker Market. You see my light set up. Loads of lights all over the bike. Brilliant setup, especially on the head. And the main main spotlight there. Brilliant for when it's getting dark. So uh, yeah, I'll see what's going on in the tent. It's now Friday, Friday morning. Didn't get any footage in the last couple of nights. Too dark for the GoPro. With 180 feet, so Hunter. Now, hey. It's not woo, it's, ah, it's whoop whoop. I would have done the whoop whoop. Uh, take two. <laughs> whoop whoop. <laughs> whoop whoop. We're uh, out in a uh, secret location today. Done a bit of metal detecting along the bridleways here in Suffolk. Let's see what we find. Hopefully some roaming coins and stuff like that. Too deep. Too deep? Yeah. Had a drought. We're in a drought. Hey, we found a part of a oh something. Oh, that's actually quite interesting. We found a Roman coin, but it's melted. No, that's that's definitely different. Yeah, it's old metal, isn't it? It could be. I mean, wow, that looks almost bronzy. Hmm. Yeah, green, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. See, to the naked eye, it's a stone, a bit of rubbish, but it's metal. It's definitely been worked once upon a time. Yeah, it's definitely green, isn't it? Yeah, there is green on there. We're in the Bronze Age! We're in the Bronze Age! <laughs> oh, I thought it was a bit of more of that shit. Don't detect in flip flops. <laughs> This is why, mate, I don't want to dig too far down. It's impossible. Oh. I'm not getting anywhere with this, I'm all sorry. This is impossible. Oh, you knew that. It's that way. And that is how I, a pinpointer is so handy at times. So difficult. The ground is so baked. If you have a backpack with you, 
or anything like that when you go on your travels and you've got enough room to carry a bottle of water or something. Not only is it good for drinking, it's also good for dampening the area you need to dig. It just makes you get in there a little bit easier. And is that another bit of bronze? Hmm. Now he's got a bit. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Some weird harnessy type looking things going on here. Well, don't bend it. Not, but it won't bend. <laughs> yeah, they're not your they're not your normal scrappy bits of worked lead. No, These are actually taking off something. Huh? Yeah, they're actually cut. We're starting to piece a puzzle together here, I think. Well, keep going. We'll only do two inches next time because I can't dig that far down. The, the ground is very, very baked. Anyway, let's keep going. Whoop whoop. Funny signal. We're on it, we're on it. Okay. Uh, an old washer or something, maybe? That is the worst looking washer I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? What is it? Same sort of material again, though. Maybe old farm, old farming um, piece. So it looks older though, doesn't it? Because how square it is. Mm. It might be uh, a buckle, like plate or something for decoration. Or something. See a bit of green there as well. Always points to mm. the age. There you go. Have a look. Could it, could have been a foundry or something. Yeah. There's loads of signals I've just passed up. Where was it here? Oh, that's mossy. Where was it? Oh, I didn't hit the right place just there. I think it's old scrappy bits of old farming, mate. Now, yeah. I don't want to get carried away and think it's something better than it is. A bit more like rubbish. Then. Yeah. yeah. The other bits are a bit better, being the shape. They might be a bit older, the other bits, but I think there's the same sort of thing. Just it different. might have been an old workshop here or something. Yeah, could have been. I think they're the same sort of thing, just different eras, different, you know, different metals used, different methods, different shapes. Definitely a hammer. He reckons it's a hammer coin. This is a hammer. It's a stone. Stone. It's a spade. I've got to be careful I don't hurt this ring pull. I mean, hammer. Hammer coin. The two people so I was hit with a hammer rather hard. I can't hear anything with him. You excited, Ben? I'm ecstatic. What does it come up with, the signal? What does it say it is? What metal? It says hammered. Oh. <laughs> There's a specific setting for hammered. <laughs> yep. I cool, set it myself. Hang on. It's um, tricky when you've got a machine where the battery's dying. Yeah, battery dying. So this could be the end. What Ben's doing is this thing's a pinpointer in it. Pinpoints the, uh, yeah, like like that. The closer it gets to a bit of metal, works from about four or five inches away, which is good. You don't want it too far away, otherwise you're not going to pinpoint the target. Yeah, which is what you want it to do, like this. That's two targets. No, all that means is I dug in the wrong hole. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to be here. Look. 
to get my hammer out, I have to dig just under there like that. Twist it. Good sign, no rust. You just pop out of the ground in perfect condition. And here we have a hammered some, Sutton. Some um, hammered aluminium. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's a funny shape, that. It's a bit of a tin can or something. Uh, never mind. Oh dear. <laughs> Just found something. What is it, Ben? It is. And voila. I can't tell you what it is because I don't know the name. But I found one of these before in the same place where we are. And the last one I cleaned up and had a name on it. And this one has as well, if you can just make out there, there's an S. Yeah, there is. And it's actual, re it's writing on there, like a permanent marker type thing. Um, so if you gently rub that off, we will reveal a name. But we need a bit of water. Have we got a bit of water, Luke? No, you have to use a spit, mate. Mm. I'm going to, it's disgusting, but I'm going to do it. That was him. <laughs> And we've worked it off. And we've rubbed the name off. There you go. <laughs> LC, is it? Looks like LC. And a B. I think they might be cow tags or something. Yep, I think they are. LC. B. Beck. B. I can't quite work it out. Aunt Bessie's. <laughs> Aunt Bessie's. <laughs> but yeah, it's. I think it's... Yeah. Horse LC tag, something. Yeah, maybe a horse tag, yeah, or like. like you say, a cow. Don't know. We'll clean it back up at the tent later, and I'll find out exactly what it is. LC, be with you or something. <laughs> Be Bell, Bell witch, build witch. There's a witch. Whip. Witch. Bewitch. Oh. Bewitched. <laughs> It's good fine though, but not what we want really, is it? We want something older. Let's keep going. We want some gold. What? What? I want my train fare back. <laughs> I want to we get my train fare back, mate. <laughs> I will. We just come off the field about 45 minutes ago. Too hot to not be shirtless. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he's sweating his nut off, man in a hat and everything well I, I am as well but yeah we're gonna try down here at the campsite for a little while see if we can pull out a few quid <laughs> Ben's still swinging away first find for me 10p laying on the surface lovely job he likes the old swinging gold bottle gold, gold bottle top <laughs> bottle top number one <laughs> Foiled again. <laughs> right. True to my word, twenty yeah. p. Good guess, Ben. Now that is how you do it, guys. What? Twenty p, but I got it right. <laughs> A pound! pound? An old round pound. Cool. It's a bridge one. Unfortunately, you can't spend these anymore in the United Kingdom. Um, they've changed the... Um, ah, what's the word I'm looking for? They've changed. They've, they've changed, they haven't changed the currency. <laughs> <laughs> it's still GPPS. No, they've, um, they've changed the design and they're different. So these are no longer in circulation. But it is still legal tender. You can change this up at a bank or a post office. Um, and they will change it up into um, legal tender for you. So very worth keeping because that is a pound currency. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, it's a bit dodgy with the Ace 250. You have to dig these sometimes. Um, you can find rings and stuff, gold rings, under the same frequencies. It's, it's very, very uh, dodgy. But that's what you pay for, isn't it? Uh, foil. It's a, yeah, it's a bit of a dodgy signal. It's different signal to the last bit of foil. <laughs> We've been here a while. Could be a pound coin. 
could be a 10p, a 50p, it could be a Budweiser, unopened, nice and cold. <coughs> Could be a tent bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bit of pipe. What the friggin' hell's that? That's got nothing to do with camping, is it? What's that doing there? <laughs> That's a modern bit and all, isn't it? Time at the bar, please. That's a definite modern bit. Bit of copper pipe, worth a fortune. <laughs> what do you make of Ben's metal detecting antics? He likes eating dirt. That's bad for you, real net, actually. You might be in business here, guys. Getting your toes in the camera. Oh. Look at them toes. <laughs> camping toes, mate, camping toes. Oh, we've got a tent peg. That ain't a tent peg, that's a very old nail. A very old nail. It is. It's got a square nail. Weird that. That looks like out of a horseshoe. It could very well be, Luke, actually. Biz of the small head has been worn <laughs> down. It could actually be exactly what you just said. What's with a string around your arm, mate? Uh, I kept it. Just because in case you get depressed? Uh, no, there's a, quite a few kids hanging around my tent and uh, it might come in handy. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Be prepared. Preparation <laughs> circumstance. <laughs> Mate, stump on that. My feet hurt now. <laughs> Please. Always cover your holes, guys. Rule number one. Hippie, do you want to go? I've got to have a drink, mate. Thank you. Don't come off the Oh. Oh. 20p! <laughs> Guessed it right again, bud. Again, again. Guessed it right again. I've only been using the Ace 250 for about five years. Only. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it works. I know the tones. Elfie! Ace 250, Nell Tornado Coil. Custom setting, lower the sensitivity up and down when you're in a certain place like a campsite because, well, there's so many bottle tops, tent pegs, random bits of coins, just random junk, people burning random stuff in fires and it just gets left in fire pits and gets scattered around. So in a certain places, like a, like a tent, a campsite, you need to really lower the sensitivity right down. And when you find your junk you find, you've got to dig them out put them on the floor, detect them, find out the signal and turn it off, otherwise you're going to have a very back-breaking day. <laughs> oh, it needed to be there. Oh, oh, where's the bullet in? What's that then? Uh, it's a tip off a... Uh... Oh, it's spinny. Yeah, it's a tip off a... Uh... Oh. oh, it's fishing weight. Yeah, this is cork bit, and that's uh, that's rubber. It's a plumb depth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I get it. Yeah, I depth. see. That's old. That <coughs> no one uses it mm. anymore. That's quite cool. Isn't it? Lovely. Find all sorts here. Yeah, Always check your hole. Make sure that is the signal you're going for. Alfie, check your <laughs> hole. What's in the hole? <laughs> Always find your top grass. Throw your big chunks back in. Always place your, you know, your dead cut off the top. Always place that back on top. You try and make it look as if you've not even been here. Yeah, it looks a bit scruffy, but once it rains and sinks, it all sets sets back down quite nicely. 50p. We've got a large one. I think it's 50p. You hit something. Ah, oh, it's just a it's not broken, tent peg. broken tent peg piece. Just double check. Yeah, that's what it was. Alfie, where's your ball? The joys of campsite detect. Get your ball. Get your ball. I'll get your ball. I'll get your ball. Oh, 
a zip, a broken zip oh. of a tent or something. Elfie, get the ball. Good boy. Okay. It's, it's a seal ring, it's a seal a ring of off a pipe. I thought I'd found a ring then. <laughs> but the kids will think it's a ring. <laughs> They'll get stuck on their finger later. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have a coin. Hey, a thin one. 5p maybe. Be a bit annoyed if it's 5p that, that far down. Ah. Far out. Oh, what have we here? Belgi. Ah, oh, it's Belgium. Sure. Right, there's a perfect example. I've caught that with the spade and that was probably when I got this last big clump out and I just dug the spade in to knock it out of the way not realising the target was actually in this big clod and I've actually ruined the coin by trying to find it so you must take care guys when you dig in these holes otherwise it's you do ruin them nick, actually. it's not that old uh, it? no it's not that old, I'm trying to find a date uh, <coughs> uh, 19 I've scratched the date, would you believe it guys? I've scratched the <laughs> date. I think it says 1912. No, nine, no 1928. Yeah. So it is quite old. That, that, that relates to the tags that you found earlier. It does. It says, Goed voor. 50 cent. 50 cent. What, the wrapper? <laughs> yeah, it's 50 cent. Yeah, 1923. That's quite old, actually. Here we go. I think it's 1923. Have a closer look. Belgium. What's a Belgium corn doing here? Everything, isn't there, around here? 1923 seems a bit too early, actually, for me. But it, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah, that's scratched off, isn't it? The yeah, day. I've scratched it. I've ruined it. <laughs> you have probably dug in. Yeah, I've ruined You're it. never retrieving that. It could have been. You'll still find it online, you know. That's, that's annoying. There's only a period of like... Oh, yeah, there'll be a period of years. 10 years or something that was yeah. minted, so you'll narrow it down. Well, one more hold and I'm off for a bike ride. I don't think this is it, actually, guys. I don't think this is the target I just had. Oh, something there as well. <laughs> a foil there, isn't it? Where? Oh, yeah, I didn't even see it. My eyes are trained and I didn't see it. <laughs> Look, this is how dry our soil is, guys. Look, I can't even break that. <sighs> oh. The other half of foil. You've got to double check, you've got to make sure. I don't see nothing else. Roots! <laughs> yeah. Hang on a minute. What's going on here? <laughs> there seems to be where there's cracks. A nail. No uh, nail. Something over here. We'll just get this before I put all the holes away. It was on the top, there was another nail. Was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I didn't even see it, mate. Uh, Hair clip. <laughs> Hair clip, nail, and foil. Put it in your pocket. Finds pouch, whatever you got with you, dispose of it, then you'll never find it again. <laughs> oh, close your holes up best you can. Nineteen twenty three, I mean what's that? Seven seventy seven, eighty seven and eight. Told you it was a coin. Yeah, it's, it's a nugget. 
It's Go another nice. nugget. We have a round pound. Once again, we can't spend it, but we can change it at the post office. And you can use it in shopping trolleys. And you can use them in shopping trolleys. And some of the old parking meters still take them. Never pay for parking again. Whoa! <laughs> If Carlsberg made detectors. <laughs> oh, friggin' hell. Well, oh. <laughs> I found a ten peg. <laughs> ten p in the ten peg. Right, so that's about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit more of a casual vlog over the last three days type thing bits and bobs from whatever I've been doing general stuff, general vlog um, how did you like it? please comment down below to see uh, if you'd like to see more stuff like this on my main Hippie Swift channel if not then switch over to my Hippie Swift Diaries channel and uh, yeah everything there is pretty much a bog standard vlog like this and I'll try and make them as entertaining and you know least professional as possible on my diary channel just so I have a bit more realism to uh, to my uh, creations so uh, yeah till next time stay safe and I hope you find peace